Welcome back. Uh, once again, this is Ron, and we're going to be covering episode 9 of LVI 10.5. So I thought I would uh, go over two um, items, seeing as how the, they're a little bit small. So, you know, I figured I could cover two, it's no problem. The first one is going to be bags, and then the other one is going to be tool tips. Now, when we're talking about bags, we're talking about both your bags, your bank bag and your um, your bag that you carry with you, which has your inventory. Um, now, there's a couple of things that you want to do is, okay, so first of all, this is my bag. Um, note that I have only one bag. There's actually four there. Um, and... You can actually see the bags up top here. If I was to mouse over them, you would see that it's only that bag. Uh, but I usually don't toggle that on. Um, and I usually get rid of it. So it's just by clicking this one. You can click this button right here to, to vendor your grays. And this right here will clean up your bags. It, that's your sort is what it is. And you can actually give it a syntax for sort uh, later. But... Um, in general terms, I don't use that, um, and you'll see you'll see why um, later on. But so here's the general tab. In the general tab, you have um, this is where you can have your coins. Um, it displays a format of uh, current icons that are displayed on your your main bag. So that's the one that I have up right now. Um, and that's these right here. I have it set for currency and text. So the currency is nether shards, and I have 775. Same thing with uh, seals of broken fate, and I have only one left of those. And this is your Legion of All War supplies, and I have 85 of those. And you can change this to icon only, and it will show just the icon. Um, or you can send it to that's your long text, which, as you can see, fills everything up. This is your short text. So it's just a short text of what it is. And it's a little bit easier to see. So this is your smart sort. And it displays a format of money um, text that shows on your bag. So I've set it to smart. You can set it to whole, blizzard style, uh, condensed, full. It depends on what you want it to look like. So if I was to go full, then... It would show the full text size. I leave it at smart uh, under normal circumstances. Okay, so this shows the coin um, instead of uh, a colored text. I leave that on. That's I think that's by default. That's on anyways. This one is just show junk icon. You see the icon that shows up over a few of my items up top? It's this little uh, coin icon right there. Um, I normally don't do that because I have inventor grays when I open up my bag. Um, that's automatic. Uh, so I don't really need to see that. It's just, it's rid of all the junk automatically. Um, this shows the upgrade icon. So, for example, this technically would be an upgrade. Um, but I really don't want to... Um, put this on because I actually have a tier item on. And because I have a tier item, um, I don't want to replace that. But it lets me know that in the event that I want to switch something out, if I get another tier item, then, you know, maybe I could switch it up and put this on because crit versatility are my two main secondary stats that I want to put on. So, just in case I wanted to do that. Actually, I think I'm in the wrong gear anyways. And no, looks like I have the right gear on. Okay. But this says it's part of my uh, Windwalker set. As you can see, um, it also puts your equipment set in there. All right. So, um, this clear search on close. So, if I was to put a search uh, string in here and I left it in there, then 
um, it would gray everything out. And if I closed it and this wasn't selected, then that would stay that way, even if you did it at your bank because it searches both bags at the same time. But because I have that set, it clears it automatically when I close. Um, okay, so loot to leftmost bag. What that does is it'll send it to the leftmost bag. Um, I usually don't. I want to decide where things go. And it just starts piling them up here. And then I move them where I want to in my bag. I use my own sorting system. It works for me. It may not work for someone else. Um, and this uh, disables your, um, your bank sort as well. So you can just disable one but not the other if you wanted to. All right, so item level count. So what that does is, for example, I have 20 Goblin Glider kits in here. That's what it's displaying. That's what this text controls. This is Expressway, a normal font that I have for my UI. So I've set this at uh, Expressway 20 and have the color set to white. On most items, um, the white text is easy to see. Um, and this will display the item level. As you can see, if I click on it, it will get rid of it. So that displays the item level of the uh, piece of equipment. And, and then here, if I only want to show 970 items, then it gets rid of everything except for a 970 item. Um, and you can do that from item level one on up. I put them all on there anyways, um, just so I can see the item levels in my bag. And again, I have it set for Expressway 15. And I have it set for outline. If I was to set it for thick, you could see the outline was really thick on that one as well. So that's the main bag. That's the main, the general settings in there. And then this is just setting your, your uh, button size and the width of your bags. And you can do each one individually. You can do your, um, your bags and then your, your bank bags. So I have them both set for 34 with a width of 406. That's comfortable for me. It works. It sits right here. No issues. Excuse me. So that's how you set those. Now, this is your bank, um, your bag bar. If you were to enable this, which I do not have mine enabled, then it would put, um, you know, uh, something similar to this um, wherever you decide you wanted to put it in, on your UI. Again, I don't enable mine, and this would set your backdrop and your mouse over, so you could actually set it so that just like this, it only shows up when I mouse over. So you can do that with this as well. And then the, you could decide the button size, spacing, so on and so forth, whether it's vertical ascending sort, you know, however you want to set that up. So this is what I was talking about with your sort. Um, this is your sort button, and you can set different syntax on, in here have it sort. I'm going to be honest, I don't use it. And then you can set it for just this profile or you can set a global one if you wanted to uh, sort that way. All right, so here are your search syntax. So if you wanted to search in your search bar right here, but you only wanted to find particular things. Now, if you know the name of it, you can actually go type the name of it. So let's say I want to find all of my potions, P-O, there we go. There's all my potions. Now that is not listed as a potion, even though it really is. So there's the potion, P-O-T-I-O-N. Now all of the potions that I have in my bag, here's a mana potion, uh, a Latorin potion, this is actually listed as a potion in the, in the description, so it, it will look for this as well. But that's how you would do that. So if you didn't know what it was, how would you find it? Well, you know that maybe, for example, you have a, um, a rare item. So that will show all rare items, as you can see helps if you actually spell rare correctly. But 
let's say I wanted to find epic items, D P I C. There we go. There's all the epic items, and and you can do that with anything that you wanted. So if you wanted to find legendary, there we go. Just by typing it, it starts it starts showing it. So that's that's how you would do that. Um, if you wanted to find set, you could do S brew master. So there's all the items on my brew master set. And this gives you, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can actually use these syntax to actually find things. Now, if I wanted to put things together so that I'm searching for a specific item, I know it's a legendary, I know it's on my brewmaster set. Um, and let's say I have a lot of legendaries in here and I have a lot of brewmasters. If I wanted to find a item that intersects with two things. So for example, I know it's a legendary and I know that it's in my brewmaster set. Then I can do ampersand, the and sign. And I can say level 970. So this is all of my brewmaster items that are 970 or above, or correction, 970. Um, and you can put use any of these operators to put things together. Um, you could do a search for an item that is greater than or less than 900. Uh, um, maybe you want to find all of your 880, but not greater than. So you could do, you know, you could use these operators to determine what is, you know, between certain item levels. You can also do a search for uh, BOE items or BOA items. Maybe you're, oops, got to get rid of all that. Maybe you have all, maybe you have your bag full and you're looking for BOA, so then you just type BOA, and there is the two items that are bind on account. So I just clicked on that and that's plot find on account. So that also showed up. So that's just, you know, one way to um, do your do your search. Um, and then you get rid of that. And remember what I said, this applies to both your um, your bag and your bank bag. So that's a simple use of your bags. So let's go on to tool tips. Uh, one other thing before we go to bags, uh, before we leave bags, you have your bank bag and there's your, uh, that's your bank and that's your bag. Now, what I do is I set them right here so I can still see these when the uh, tool tips open or when the bags are open, but that's where it puts them for me and you can move these anywhere on, on the screen that you want and it'll show up right there. But that's where it worked for me. Okay, so tool tips. Uh, first thing you have to do is enable your tooltips, just like everything else. We go to general, and then you can anchor things to your, your cursor. So instead of showing up here, it would anchor over my cursor. All right. Now, this is target info. So now I have targeted myself. Um, it doesn't work specifically on me. So, But if you're in a raid, let's say, example, and you were to mouse over a boss, it would say, you know, who's targeting them. That's the target info. Um, it shows the player title. So for example, I am the grand master, a grand master. If I was to take that off, it would just show my name. And then it put it back on, it shows in there. Um, and then it shows guilds and ranks. So there I'm in the debauchery tea party and I am a member. And then you can display the player's talent, spec, level, tool tip, on tooltip. Um, and it will update um, on mouse over. But, I mean, it doesn't work for me because it doesn't work when you target yourself. But that will be there. 
um, and then spell an item ID. So there's the spell name and there's the item ID. If you look in the bottom of this tooltip, the ID is 116 for Life Cocoon. And that shows up there. Um, so this right here is the item count. So if I mouse over uh, the Hungry Magistrate food here that I have, um, it shows on the bottom right hand side that I have 11 in my bag and I have 81 in my bank. Now, where it shows the rest of them um, at the bottom where my uh, Throne Warlock, Throne Pal, Throne Monk, Throne Elf, that's a different add on that, that puts that in there and it, it gives me the total count. That's a different add on. That's Altaholic. It shows it on on my tooltip for me. But you can decide on your tooltip whether you want to see just in your bag, your bank, or none. Totally up to you. Now, the opacity is the opacity of the tooltip. Now, I was playing with this earlier, and I set it to 25. But when I open up my bag, it kind of interferes with it. So I kind of want a little bit darker background on there. So I was thinking maybe if I change the opacity to 50, that's okay, but not quite. Um, let's try 75. And that's better. And it's a, there's a, a definition that that is what that is. Um, and I think that would work better for me so that when I do have other windows open, I can see it a little bit clearer. I think that would work. All right. So now we're going to go to tooltip font. So I've set the expressway as my, my main font. As I said, um, your, your font is, um, mine is expressway that's across the same. Then I outline it. Now I've changed the, the text size here a little bit bigger, uh, make it easier to read. But you could set it um, to, let's say we set this to 10. Let's see if this looks any different. Yeah, you can see how small that is compared to the ancient mana potion. That's not very readable. So if I was to say 15, I want to be able to read this. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller, but I really did like having it all the same size, and I thought 20 worked better on the tooltips. Makes it a little bit easy to read. Um, maybe I want to make this 25 to make that a little bit bigger so that the title of it sticks out. There we go, Goblin Glider Kit sticks out a little bit more. And then the rest of it's set at 20. All right. Okay, so custom faction colors. You, If you select this, then on your tooltip, these are set. So as you can see, um, when I mouse over, see any neutral around here let's see if there are any neutral that would be like a critter or something like that or i know there were some foxes over in the other area but anyways um that's what that does for you is it it will set um these colors hated hostile and unfriendly are all red neutral is yellow and then friendly uh revered exalted um, there will all be um, green. And I think that about does it for bags and tooltips. Um, if you have any questions, as always, put it in the description. I'll, I, I do read through those and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, but that is, that about wraps it up for um, bags and tooltips. Hope to see you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.